Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, we're gonna diagnose and fix poor idling and misfiring engine that looks like this. So, the first thing we're gonna do, use OBD scanner to see what code the scanner will read. And of course, with the engine idling like that, you will have check engine light on and the engine power reduced as well. Turn the key to ignition position. I'm gonna use my phone and use this app. It's called Torque. It's very easy to use. After connecting with the scanner, go to gear icon show logit faults and we have PO107 which is manifold absolute pressure sensor we're gonna turn it off and here is the map sensor located after throttle body on some cars it's bolted straight on the intake manifold or it will be connected with a small hose like this map sensor stands for manifold absolute pressure that measure barometric pressure of intake manifold and compare it with the atmosphere to tell how much fuel has to be sent. Alright, let's disconnect the wire harness and undo the 10mm bolt. I'm gonna use a small ratchet, extension, 10mm socket. Let's remove the sensor and clean it and also check the hose and harness connection, one of these causing the problem. After removing the sensor, we can clearly see that we have a damage on the hose and that caused pressure leak and an accurate reading. For cleaning, I will use mass airflow sensor, it's safe on sensors and plastic and leaves no residue. We just have to spray a few times and let it dry. Next, we're gonna remove the damaged hose and replace it. You don't have to buy the same hose, you just have to cut same size hose and put it back. Alright, let's make sure the sensor completely dry before putting back. I will put the new hose on the sensor and it will make the job easier for installing on the engine. Alright, we're just gonna put everything back, we just cleaned the sensor and replaced the damaged hose. I'm pretty sure it was making the engine misfire. Okay, we are almost done, we just have to clear the coat and turn off the check engine light. The engine must idle normally without misfiring. If the same coat comes back, you have to replace the sensor with a new one. Let's turn on the engine. It works perfectly fine without misfiring, comparing to before fixing the problem. With OBD scanner and some hand tools, we could fix engine misfiring. So that's it for this video. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.